Hello, my name is Clive Scott and this is part 13 of a course on Java and it covers the enhanced for statement. Uh, it turns out there are two uh, types of enhanced for statement and um, this is the first one I'm going to consider. It's the enhanced for statement with an array. And uh, this is what it uh, looks like. Um, uh, the word final there is optional. Uh, you've got a type and an identifier and an expression and the thing about it is that expression has got to be an array type and uh, if we say the array type is um, a T array then that um, statement is equivalent to this down here now um, these things I put down with hash in front are um, a unique um, compiler generated identifiers okay so uh, that gets translated into that and if you look all that does is it uh, simply runs through the array uh, passing uh, setting this identifier equal to each element in the array in turn now um, that means that um, something like this uh, uh, for example which uh, just sets up that array and this uh, um, uh, does that uh, uh, enhanced for statement on it uh, gets translated into this here which um, as you can see just prints out each element in the array uh, you'll notice that you can use final here for, for this because um, although that's set each time to each individual element in the array it's not um, it's uh, that's a variable declaration that takes place there and it only lasts for the duration of any um, statement within there. So that's not a problem as far as setting that variable is concerned. Um, now um, one thing you might be asking is um, why uh, why put this in here at all and, and uh, why put it in that position? Well first of all it needs to go into that position um, because this matters um, whereabouts this is put because there may be labels attached to this uh, for statement in which case it's got to go in front of those labels now the next question of course is why not why set this variable a here at all why not um, just use the um, expression each time in here and um, now the answer to that is is that um, well it depends on the meaning that you're trying to convey now uh, uh, expression of course is it may not just be a simple um, array like this it may be for example a a function which returns an array and in that case the function itself for instance may um, may do some other things uh, may have some side effect in which case you don't want to call it more than once um, it may for instance even return a different array each time you call it in which case uh, it would matter whether you called it once or more than once and if you put the expression here it will be called every time around this loop and that may not be what you intend um, so you have to make a decision I suppose and this is a sensible decision to make to evaluate it just once at the beginning before the for loop starts and that's the reason why that is done there 